Hi, I'm Tony Garitano, founder of Progress and Lending Association, and welcome to What's the Buzz? What am I hearing? It's all about the loan origination system. And what is the loan origination system doing? They're integrating better and they're more data driven. How? Well, for example, Fiserv is just releasing their common origination platform, but it's fully integrated to their servicing system. So you're getting a true end-to-end -end mortgage process. I'll be watching to see the rollout of that product because that could be a true advance. I also got a demo from Calix Software on their new PATH product. And what I found interesting there is they were not relying on traditional mortgage forms. They were actually grouping data elements according to what made sense here, there, and there. That to me is a true advance because the mortgage industry needs to move to a more data-driven process and the loan origination system should lead that charge. That's what I think about data. But I went out to the industry to find out what the scoop was on data as far as what other people thought about it. So here's what Roger Godoba and Kelly Purcell said about data standardization in the mortgage space. Good afternoon, Kelly. One of the things I'd like to talk a little bit about today is data standards in the mortgage industry. As you know, I've been involved with MISMO for, since inception for over 10 years. Um, and I think it's been very good for the industry. Uh, we defined a data dictionary, so we had a common definition of all the data terms. Uh, we defined some standard uh, file formats for interchange. Uh, in fact, the uniform loan delivery data standard uh, data set that uh, Fannie is promoting to deliver. And, and we've moved into version 3. Okay, And this has been very useful for the industry to have that common understanding. What are your thoughts about what's going on there? Oh, geez, that's kind of a loaded question, Roger, because, you know, I, I do agree that the, the framework of data standards, you know, um, is a great idea. But I could tell you from a, a software provider supporting these standards, um, it's, it's getting to the point where, you know, we're investing, you know, millions of dollars to support every version that comes out and supporting the industry with, you know, relatively minimal adoption. And so I think the industry needs to understand and recognize, because I'm not the only, you know, software provider out there um, adhering to these standards, that, you know, how long can we maintain, maintain you know, the support of this without um, greater adoption? So th that's my question. I'm, I'm, I'm quite baffled. Well, I, and I agree, and I think part of the problem is um, MISMO was really defined by a very small group of people working through these standards. But if you don't have a standard, then you, as a technology company, you're writing integrations to a lot of different people for the same, different companies for the same format. Um, so at least some of the standards around MI and doc prep and so on have really made and got some momentum. Um, and so it really is going to take more people in the industry to get involved with MISMO because if you're not helping define the solution, you're going to be part of the problem going forward. I couldn't agree more with both Roger and Kelly in terms of how dependent the mortgage industry is on data if it's going to move forward in a positive way. What else happened over the past month? We gave out the Innovations Awards in Hollywood, Florida. Over 100 executives came. We honored seven top innovations of the past 12 months, and it was a wonderful event. We hope that you'll apply to be recognized as part of Innovations next year. And with that, this edition of What's the Buzz comes to a close. Until next time, so long.